Hi everyone, this is Stuart from Retromania. Today's the big day. Today we're going to reveal what we've been working on in the background for the last few months. So, let's show you what we've come up with. First of all, what you'll need to do is head or be a member of the Facebook group, Retromania UK. Once you're a member of the group, you can join the forum, which is rmcody.uk. Um, once you're a member of the forum, there is an option to become a member of Retromania Elite. Retromania Elite gives you access to a number of benefits. The main one is the Retromania app. Now let me show you what the Retromania app can do. So, if you head to the forum, you download the Retromania app. To become a Retromania Elite member, um, we ask for a minimum donation of £5. That goes towards the future development of Retromania, the hosting and everything else that goes behind it. I'm sure you guys appreciate there is a lot of work and some cost. So what we're trying to do is recover that, but offer you something which is going to give you plenty of value. So let's see what you're going to get for your £5. So assuming in this instance that you've already been to the forum, you've already downloaded the application, it'll look a little something like this. So what we want to do is we want to hit install. The application takes a second to install and then we'll open her up. First thing you're greeted with, Retromania requires you to be registered in the rmcody.uk forum. You will need to authenticate your Facebook account to continue. Straightforward. So if you're using the shield at this stage, it will automatically trigger you to go to a separate device. So what I'll do is I will just jump onto my mobile device. So we open the browser up, we're in the forum. We change the URL to have the link at the end. So rmcody.uk forward slash link, press go. And it asks us to enter the code. So as you can see on screen, the code is UQG activate your device has been authorized and there we go we're in now you can see in this list top of the list the retromania app you can install and update the app and maintain itself internally you don't need to go anywhere else you don't need to use a google play store or anything like that anytime there's an update for the app we'll push it in here so it will say update available at the side of it as you can see everything else says not installed so What's the main benefits of this? Well, as you can see, you've got Kodi, you've got SPMC, both maintained, both included within the app. So if you want to install either of those, it's as simple as click on Kodi, click install. The app will then continue to download Kodi directly for you. These are all hosted from our servers, so you don't need to worry about Kodi going down. Um, we'll obviously maintain and update our copies of these for you going forward. So. As you can see, pretty good download speed. We'll wait until this installs. Okay, so just click install, which you normally would. So if you're using a Fire Stick, or if you're using an Amazon TV box, you don't have Cody, you don't have the Play Store. All you need is the Retromania app. What that will allow you to do is basically have everything all in one place, including Cody. So that's done now. We don't need to open Cody. In fact, we don't need to open Cody at all to install the build. So let's install Retromania. You see at the side of Retromania, you get the option of Retromania Cody, and then below it, Retromania SPMC. The app gives you the ability to install to either. So you can choose where you prefer to have it. So if you've got a build of your own that's on Cody and you don't want to put Retromania on there, fine. Just click SPMC, install it, tells you the version number that's available, and then you just go to Retromania SPMC. It will automatically install to there, leaving your build that's on Cody fine. You can also do the same with Kiddo. So if you want to put Kiddo on Cody, if you want to put Retromania on SPMC, just choose the relevant one. So. Let's give it an install and see how long this takes. So at the time I'm viewing this, it is 10.59. Which is 
Now let's go. So usually, I'd probably say I averaged around half an hour if I was doing it on a, a device through a wizard. The average time that we're taking to install now through the Retromania app is probably between four to five minutes. So as you can see here, we're nearly you know, 25% downloaded. So I'll let this run and then we'll come back as soon as it's finished. But unlike the other one, I don't have time to go have a cup of tea and do everything else. But pure convenience wise, guys, if you're doing an update, this is all you need to do. Just log into the app and just hit update. Now there are some little tweaks with it. You need to make sure that Kodi or SPMC is fully closed before you run the application just to make sure that it writes properly. Um, if it's a fresh install, then all you need to do is exactly as I've done. Just install Kodi, go down, install the build. What the build will actually do is if you've got any existing build on there, as long as the app's force closed, as long as Kodi's not running or SPMC is not running, as soon as the app's finished downloading at this stage, it then has a process where it will erase the old one. So you don't need to go in. You don't need to do a fresh start. You don't need to clear data. The application will automatically remove any of the old um, information and <clears throat> any of the old build and then simply write the new one back over it. So a huge time saving um, from the old method. No more installing a wizard, no more messing about. All you need is a fairly stable internet connection. And as you can see, it's, it's flying through this. So we're at 11.01, it's taken me all of two minutes and we're at 50% download. Pretty sure we can all safely say that using a wizard, it takes a hell of a lot longer than two minutes to get to 50%. So I'm just waffling on at this stage. Um, I have to say, now's a good time for me to say a huge thank you to everybody who's helped me with the testing, the development. Um, to Franco, who's put a lot of work in with the application for me. Um, yeah, it's been a real team effort. But what we're trying to do is not just replicate what other people are doing, not just add a little tweak here and there. We're trying to make it an overall, you know, number one user experience for anyone using Kodi. So try and think of it as if you're going around your mum's house and you want to teach your mum how to use Kodi. You don't want to teach her how to type in a repo. You don't want to teach her, you know, the quirks of a wizard and pulling the plug and getting things to restart. And when there's an update, God, you know, it's a pain in the backside for me having to go around to my mum's and explain all that to her. I don't have to do that anymore. All you need to do is just turn on the application, open it up. If it says update available and code is closed, just hit update. Simple as that. So moving forwards for you guys, you know, I know I update quite a lot once a week. It's, it's quite common. Um, but this way, you should have absolutely no issues with regard to updating because it's going to save you a lot of time. So where are we up to now? 11.03. So it's taken me four minutes so far. I've got about a 40 megabyte connection on fiber optic using Sky in the UK. It's not the fastest. I know some of the guys that are testing for me have got more than double that speed. And they've been able to install the builds um, actually, both builds and Kodi and SPMC in under 10 minutes. So if you've got a good speed, then I'll fly through that. As you can see here, the installation, this only takes a matter of seconds. So I'll let this finish. What you'd then do is, if this was a fresh installation, you'd normally have to go and once you've installed the build, go into ES File Explorer, select Show Hidden Files, navigate to the file path, work out where the Install Me folder is, and install all of the individual applications. We don't have to do that anymore. What we've done is we've incorporated everything within the one app. So literally all you need now is just the Retromania app. And we're done. And that took five minutes. Okay, so we'll hit OK. You can scroll down at this stage, you can see you've got the awesome Retrobox TV2. We'll keep that updated in there, so you, again, you don't need to go anywhere else to install the apps. you also got all the other additional third-party emulators and other applications that are included within the build, like your ECM converter, Firestarter for you um, Firestick users or Amazon Fire devices, 
We've also got like Hal Launcher, Mob Draw, um, Nintendo GameCube, and the Wii. All your ROM buddies, etc. And torrent downloaders. So literally anything that's going to be of advantage to you using the Retromania build will be included within this app and maintained by us. So let's back out here. Now I'm recording this on my shield. So you'll get a lovely little icon down here for Retromania. So let's open Cody, see how well it works. How easy was that, guys? And welcome to the future. Okay, I'm sure you've all got a lot of questions. I'm sure you all want to dig in and get involved. So take a look on the forum, rmcody.uk. Have a look at the section there. We've dedicated to the Retromania app. And if you're interested in becoming an elite member and purchasing this application from us, fantastic. Just let us know. Um, we hope this has improved the overall experience for everyone, not just for Retromania members, but we hope to see a lot more members from within the Cody community taking this on board. We really believe it is the future of Android and Cody and SPMC. And uh, yeah, we hope you enjoy using it.